Another episode of Drive 365. I'm Jazz. This is Mike. That's Hector in the back. Today we're going to be reviewing a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. We're going to be going over some specs, the design, practicality, and just our overall opinion on the vehicle. This vehicle was uh, loaned to us by a classic Volkswagen in Menor, Ohio. So if you guys are in the market to get one of these, those are the guys to see if you're in the area. So with that, let's get started. All right, so before we get started, let's go over some stats about the Volkswagen Atlas. It has 276 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. It's got a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. That's um, recommended by Volkswagen. It also has an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, those numbers for the horsepower and the torque are for the 6-cylinder engine. It will be offered in a 4-cylinder engine with a little lower uh, horsepower and a little lower torque, and that 4-cylinder engine will be coming later on this year. The six-cylinder engine right now is offered with four motion, but it's also available in front-wheel drive. Although the four-cylinder is only going to be offered in front-wheel drive, so if you want the four motion, which is basically Volkswagen's all-wheel drive system, you're forced to get the six-cylinder. Uh, and again, the four-cylinder is coming out later this year. So for those of you who don't know, the Volkswagen Atlas is Volkswagen's first attempt to get into the SUV seven-passenger market. They're trying to get into the fastest growing market in the United States, which is the mid-size SUV, and I think they've done a pretty well, pretty good job. Think of the Volkswagen Atlas and the design of it, you think of two words, which is big and boxy. Both are which, not, not, in a, not in a negative way. When you're looking at it from the outside, my first thought of it was, wow, that's got a lot of square edges and it really does look like a box. But once you get closer to it and once you get you know inside of it, you realize that there's obviously a, a, a need for all that. You have so much room inside. When I'm driving this inside, it doesn't feel like an SUV or even anything from Germany. It feels like an American truck that you just have an un, you know unreal amount of room, very comfortable, very smooth, and you still have all the uh, accommodations that you would in a regular SUV. 97 cubic feet in the back, it's off storage as well. 97, 97 cubic feet, cubic yeah, and that's with all the seats down, you can keep the seats up, have some people in there, you can have, um, if you need to put the seats down, you can also have some stuff in the roof. So, I mean, it's, it's overall, it's a great vehicle if you're, if you're uh, traveling with a lot of stuff, or if you're just, you know, going on a family trip across the country. Right. The Volkswagen Atlas, it's a very clean, sleek design. You have Volkswagen's new 8-inch CarPlay uh, touchscreen right in the middle. Right underneath that, you have all the climate controls, and right underneath that, you have a gear selector and the mode selector. So everything's right where you'd expect it. Coming to the door, you have all your uh, window controls and your lock and unlock, and on your steering wheel, you have your simple volume controls and your um, cruise control settings. So everything's right where you'd expect it for any other vehicle. So that's it's it's very sleek, just clean design. Super simple to use. It's not too many buttons going on anywhere. Just right where you need it. Everything exactly. right within within a thumb's reach. So the Volkswagen Atlas is offered with five different trim levels. The one that we're in right now is an SC with tech package. Now the tech package includes your uh, blind spot monitoring system, the adaptive cruise control as well as some other features. So after driving the Volkswagen Atlas, we've driven down the highway, we've driven down side streets, we've driven down the main streets. I think the overall build quality is pretty solid on this vehicle. When you're when you're just driving it's simple. It doesn't let you know how big it actually is even though from the exterior it looks it looks to be a really big car and it, like it'd be hard to drive but you can't it doesn't let you, you know, show its size. When you're driving it, it feels like any other, like if you're driving a Tiguan, for example, which is Volkswagen's smaller um, uh, SUV. It's it's not, it doesn't feel anything bigger than that. Um, overall, I think the design of it is, it's different. I don't want to say it's nice, or I don't want to say it's not nice, but it's it's just different. Uh, what do you feel about it? I definitely, I definitely agree with you. Um, I mean, something from looking up front to the LED lights, it's different, it's, nothing I've ever seen before right um, it's got the LED headlights as long as, as well as the uh, high beams and to touch base on you as you were saying with the ride quality it doesn't feel like a big bulky SUV it rides super smooth you almost feel like you're in a sedan exactly it just it, it, you feel exactly like you're in a sedan correct, because right. it just drives so smooth over the bumps and it like again the size I don't, you, you, haven't don't driven, feel, you haven't driven it yet, but like it doesn't let you know how big it actually right. is, you don't which feel, is a great thing. Right, right. So everyone, that's it. That's our take on the Volkswagen Atlas. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell notification button. Special thanks to Classic Volkswagen in Menor, Ohio. They provided us with this vehicle. And uh, if you have any questions or if you're in the area that if you're looking to buy one of these, this is a man to talk to, Hector Rosato. All of the information is in the uh, description box below. And uh, stay tuned for the next video.